12. You know what that means? We are live on location at Glenora. Reluctantly today, I'm not going to lie. It's a little cold out. Uh, I know that's why a lot of people didn't show up today. But hey, we stay committed. We're here to put in the work. We'll start warming up as soon as we move here. What up? I'll be smiling and waving at you guys as we get moving here. Of course, the world is our oyster. Cassandra made it. So did Carrie, of course. And as you can see, open field, open fun. And without further ado, we're going to start our warm up here. You might see Carrie warming up a bit. Cassandra's kind of warming up. <laughs> I'm going to put you guys down here and get a warm up going too. Since it's just the three amigos today, it might be a little light. The light's okay, you can't always go bananas. I'm gonna start with that movement flow. I put on these weird shoes today, too, too heavy. I thought I'd get rainy and grimy out, which it's starting to do. Anyways, remember our standing flow series, since we are in a standing position, pushing off the back foot, extending our hips through. Getting that dorsiflexion component, extending all that, collapsing your compressed positions we usually sit in. Proper warm up. We're gonna need a proper warm up today, folks. I am stiff. <laughs> Hips kind of bugging me too, so you know. After those, triple loading again. Ankle joint, knee joint, hip joint, sit to the side. I extend through, getting us ready for those change of direction movements we will be throwing down on today of course we don't want to get in the habit of turning our feet out and overextending our lower back we got to learn how to leverage our hip mobility so great exercise to warm those sequences up and stretch out those tight movements can happen in here okay do a step over as well again working that interior hip connection there shoulder blades are down and back just need three of each of course Stepping through, shoulder blades are down and back, hips come through. When I step, I'm intentionally trying to pull my body that way, squeezing the hips through. I'm go the opposite way now, stepping backwards, earning that hamstring mobility. Moving to the side as well, of course. Last round here. Carrie and Cassandra are already warmed up. I do that fast. <laughs> Stepping through. Driving up to the next. Stepping through. Remember, we're opening that sequence where our back stays flat. When we take that step, you can see how flat I'm getting. That's where you get the length there. We need our hamstrings to be nice and mobile before we get started. Here. Last one I'm going to do is for the T spine and rotation here. So I'm going to sit through the hip structure here drive through and pivot with the rotation here. Earning my T-spine rotation, the extension of our hip, leading that set movement. I'm gonna breathe in as I go through there too. My weight transfers start through my back hip, transfers forward. A lot of us do not turn or rotate properly through the T-spine, so it's imperative to warm that sequence up. And same on the other side. Same on the other side. And it's elbow to knee lunge. Starting to snow out here. Warriors though, we're still out here of course. <laughs> or silly, one or the other. Anyways, elbow to knee lunge. Stepping through. Rotation. And we're gonna make a habit of stepping backwards. Stepping through. Rotation. Step back to prime those posterior chain muscles. Thing through. Rotation. We're gonna do one more of those. Carrie's really turning it up right now. I know you can't see folks. You almost need a cameraman to join us here and help capture all the magic. We do our best, of course. Saying hi to those people joining us. What up? Alright. You ready to go there, folks? 
Ready as there'll ever be. Cool. Stairs first, or are we gonna do some exercises up here? Yeah. Let's start with another priming movement, which is great for our core. Okay. Great for hip mobility, great for core, spinal stability. This one's super fun. It's pretty advanced. Let's see if I can get this set up here strategically where everybody can see. There we go. All right, so we got three priming movements here. We got the original bird dog, and we got kind of our lateral bird dog, and then we got a movement where we're rotating through, kicking the leg through, and the key for us when we're doing this, we're not reorganizing a whole bunch. We're staying in that rigid, almost aligned position. So again, one, two, arm goes out to the side, swing the leg to the side, shoulder blades are down and back, kicking through. All three of those count as one. Let's try three to five here. I'll get out of the way. See Carrie doing that set exercise as well. Great exercise to teach organization, spinal, stability with the variety of movements we may end up in when we're lunging, squatting and stuff. And if everything's not kind of working together, primed, doing its thing, the risk of injury increases. So this is exercise that strengthens those connections, strengthens that capability, if you will. Sides. Janked out. Is that a word? Janked out? It is now. It is now. <laughs> oh, oh Lord. Alright. Any more exercises up here, folks? Better recall it. No. Carrie says no, we're going down right now. Heading down them stairs. Let's go do her. Alright. I'm gonna smile and wave at everybody here. Smile and wave. Smile and wave. Hitting the stairs now. Hopefully we'll try to stay warm. It's getting freaking cold out here. The stairs it is. This girl said they didn't want to go and look at them go. They're feeling it. They're motivating me. We gotta keep moving, it's freaking cold, man. But hey, that's how champions are made. So cold, the nose is running here, just trip tripping away. <laughs> oh boy. Every Wednesday, folks, as long as it's not awful, which it's starting to become, we'll be out here running it up. Adding that extra value, extra time with your coaches, working out with intention. <laughs> right? I'm going to start with the sprinter starters. I mean, we've warmed up, but this is more ballistic. We're doing some sprint start knees here. Working that mechanics that we would earn for those said sprint techniques. Nice high knee drive. Get Carrie to show us what that looks like. Harry's got pristine form, as does Cassandra and Alice. She's been working with us for quite some time. Working on that extension with the knee, adding that stability or adding that alignment and that sinking, sinking movements to our arm drive as well. Of course, killing it. See, we're starting to wear up a bit now, I would think. Yes? No? Maybe?
After this said set, I like to go for the lunges. After about halfway through here, I almost had a bit of a lateral movement too. Pause and hold is key. Gotta be able to add some form of control and stability out of those movements. Hi everybody, thanks for joining. That was my best Dr. Ned, I know I'm not all that great. Random question. Ask away. I'll probably answer vocally. Now we're lunging. Key is to bend that back knee and engage the arms accordingly, earning that dorsiflexion when we lunge. Of course, if we're gonna execute, we should be executing correctly. We're among friends here. People are saying hi to one another. Putting in work. Putting in work. If the question's super random, maybe ask me on it. In the chat section rather than the live. Somebody request a question here. We're lunging. All right, runs, jogging up. We're jogging up, folks, here we go. We're jogging, we're jogging, oh yeah. Carrie's really jogging, she just beat me up the stairs. Oh yeah. Woo. That is a good question, Stephanie B. I would say, um, give me a couple factors as to why your eyes would get super red after a workout. One thing can maybe, if you're taking any type of supplements, like a pre-workout, sometimes that's a reaction to uh, said pre-workouts that you're using. Um, it may also be that you're a little dehydrated, or if you're working out outside, now that it's seasonal it could be allergies so a number of things can usually contribute to that uh, if you want more information about that feel free to hit me up after the workout but good question um, really depends on a couple of those factors though for sure all right next we are going to get into our crazy jacks we got some bands here too so maybe we'll take it easy on the legs a little bit today yeah we're already dropping layers, so we're warming up. <laughs> Again, a great exercise for hip mobility and postural control. Key is when I'm lifting my leg, I don't want that foot to turn out excessively. I wanna push my weight back towards the side that I am lifting. After about 16 of those, we can switch the knee drives. Oh yeah, knee drives can be a little easier. You notice when I'm doing this, again, I'm not arching my back, turning my feet out, I'm trying to earn that alignment. And as I drive, pushing my weight back towards the side I lift. I don't wanna have that excessive slam moment. I'm almost controlling that position as I come back down. Excellent. Okay, next, does Coach Carey have an exercise for us? Or am I taking it away? What do you figure, Coach? <laughs> We're feeling it today, folks. All right, Torian takes the reins, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna get in something a little ridiculous here. So, keeping the tempo up, let's get into these. 
We're gonna start low and as we come up, kind of getting into a jumping jack, we're gonna almost try to touch our feet, adding that squat pattern. Let's see here, we'll do this for time. Let's see if we can get about 25, 30 seconds worth. I count 10 more seconds. See the fabulous team working hard here. Killing it. Five, four, three, two, one. Holy smokes, Carrie picked it up there. So did Cassandra. These girls are feeling it in the zone. Okay, another exercise we can do up here. We talk a lot about the control or the prerequisites to a proper push and pull pattern. Well, no better way to train that dynamic again than with the scapular push up. Okay, it teaches us how to initialize proper retraction to the shoulder blades in context of us keeping a neutral spine. So we shouldn't be doing this exercise where we're dragging off a little bit in our lower back. We're gonna stay strong here, shoulder blades in. If that's a little too easy, folks, we can add what we call the money in the pocket drill. We're pulling our arm up in line as if we're rowing. We don't want to tip over excessively, holding up for a three count. Same rules apply. In fact, you want to almost try to pull the shoulder blades in, start, and then pull, and then pull. If we're doing the scapular push up 10 to 12 is fine. Doing the money in the pocket drill, both sides count as one. I'd say three to five, more than enough. Looks like the weather's holding up for us here so far. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Excellent. Okay. Great one for core, hip strength, hip mobility, hip stability, all in one. We got ourselves the single leg hip press with a swing to the side. So after we launch our hips, go for us to the swing. Try to keep our hips up at that same level area as opposed to getting it out somewhere else. Okay, so remember I launch up, rotate here, come down, snap through, okay? Snap through. Snap through. We'll do about eight per side here. Eight per side. After those eight, we will switch sides, folks. We will switch. Okay. If we need extra leverage too, we're pulling our shoulder blades down and back, keeping that extra lever longer. When we do that, we don't wanna have our arms up really high. We're gonna actually have them a little lower and our shoulder blade position. Helps with the stability yeah, there. These are really tight. <laughs> these are really tight. All right. It's good for some lower body stuff and some core. Let's include some upper body stuff. Oh, puppy. <laughs> we have visitors, folks, and the visitors are super cute. We're also not on a leash now, so it's I'll bet they're off. Okay. Do some arm curls and some shoulder blade stuff or some shoulder stuff. Some light. Make them heavy. How about we stand on that and do our curls? I'm going to layer it up here so I get enough tension. But folks, we got ourselves a good old arm curl. Right? We want to be useful with our workouts here. So, as such, if you don't have weights, no big deal. Bands work almost just as good. We're gonna stand on these suckers as such and curl it up. And I'll keep for us, again, alignment. We wanna earn those prerequisites of tension and stability. 
That shoulder blade's down and back, knees out. Footprint is relatively straight ahead. You wanna accelerate and decelerate at the same tempo. Getting that turnover as well. After about eight to 10, let's go rapid fire single arm, yeah? Now we can go single arm, rapid fire, single arm, rapid fire, single arm. This one can be for time too. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Yahtzee. Oh, fierce. Okay. Another old classic here. We got our classic side raise, front raise. I'm gonna go down to a single band because these are pretty heavy. So we're gonna go one here, one forward. Again, same rules. I think your posture is even. Feet are over the hips, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the shoulder blades back and forth. When I go to lift here, it's important I don't turn out or stick my chest out. If anything, I'll slightly tip inward a bit. And then I'll lift there. Good stuff. But folks, you think those are good. We're gonna show you what Carrie's doing. Coach Carrie has a nice variation here. Working more of the posterior chain specifically, so we can see through the shoulder blades, but as she's doing that, of course, proper alignment here. Okay, she's shoving her knees out, slight tilt in the hips. And Cassandra's awesome because she always smiles when she does her exercises. We're having fun, folks. <laughs> course we're having fun okay great job by uh, the two gals here so I think it's time we hit those stairs again folks time you hit those stairs again we're not gonna lie we're a little mesmerized by the cute puppies that are here might as well get a little flash in there look at this you see That's why we go outside, okay? We experience life when we're in these opportunities, which includes cute puppies. We're hitting the stairs again. I'm gonna get a sip of good old juice here, but hit the stairs again. This is my uh, smoothie that I always have during my workouts. If you're wondering what's in there, everything. Fruits and vegetables, as many as I can find. Usually more veggies than fruits, and then some water. Sometimes coconut water too. Gives me nutrition mid-workout. Then I can stay with my nutrition throughout my workouts, or even if I get busy during a day. To answer your questions again, Stephanie, sorry. Um, using a pre-workout is definitely not a bad thing. It really depends on what your pre-workout's there for um, and what you truly want out of a pre-workout. I mean, if you need a ton of pick-me-up energy, then more caffeine will provide that for you. But if you just want some support, like nitric oxide support, you know, you can just simply do that. And that'll just give a little bit more vascularity. Hello, puppy. See, we have more fun here. Um, we have more nitric oxide support gives us more oxygen to the blood allowing us to get better pumps. It's really dependent upon what you need it for. Uh, if you need more energy, I'd suggest more higher tempo workouts as opposed to just traditional bodybuilding. If you need more of the nitric oxide approach with the more pumps, then definitely you can use those types of pre-workouts for bodybuilding or just pumps like lifting. A good question. Again, if you want to follow up, feel free to hit me up after the live workout all right we're making our way up two friends there chatting it up being like why the hell are we out here touring jesus christ we're lunging now Carrie's also doing uh, something else. That's fine. She wants higher tempo. 
we were gonna get there she's doing it now okay she's doing it now that's fine i'm gonna do those in a bit but that's what we're here for folks to show you a couple different ways we can get some good workouts in oh yeah Oh wow, actually I'm starting to feel good now. Now we got that warm up in, I'm gonna switch halfway. Show you what, she's also switching over to the crossovers. Maybe I can give you a quick tip of what we're doing here. This is a side lunge folks, at the depth of my lunge. I'm driving through back leg on the trailing stair is staying straight. I know you can't really see, but when I'm in the depths of that side lunge, I power out of it to work my glutes, hamstrings, and core. Just putting in that work. Oh yeah, killing it, folkies. We're killing it. really starting to pick up here we may lose you for the live because can't sacrifice the phone it's starting to rain and almost snow now we're doing rotational squats here's looking at you I'm pivoting as I squat here rotating through look something like this as Sandra's showing us she even has the army fatigues on today. She, she came ready. Okay, ready. Right? <laughs> Cassandra's our MVP, of course. About to win her second challenge in a row. You're gonna announce our winners soon, but she's she's definitely at the forefront of that. Hint hint. Goes to show you what hard work and consistency can get us. Carrie's laughing at us, being like, what the hell's taking you guys so long? <laughs> She's up at the next flight. <laughs> it's my camera work, I promise, that's what it is. I'm gonna speed it up. I'm actually missing a step now, doing those pivotal squats here. And of course, Sandra's mixing it up perfect. What we want. Carrie's jumping already. The power of teamwork. We might have started today kind of ho hum drum, but now Carrie's motivated. Cassandra's motivated. I'm motivated. Put in the work. Since she's jumping, I'm going to jump too. We're missing a step, folks. When I jump here, I almost wiped out there. When I jump here, I'm gonna land low as well. Getting that absorption in the proper manner here. Oh, that's it, that's all for those bad boys. Oh, as you can see, it's getting pretty wet out here. feeling her and guess what there they are again see worth the pain no not us yeah we're good not I my blue car's over there and if he gave me a ticket as my mom used to say we're gonna dance Cause I just got there. I've only been there for like half an hour. So should be good. All right, we're taking a quick breather. Carrie's fired up. I say we do some more upper body folks. What do you think? Give our legs a quick break. Can we do our partner rows. What do you think? 
some bands, some partner rows. Some bands, some partner rows. Oh, my bad, dog. Pull that up. That's what we're doing, folks. That's what we're doing. Carrie's less talky today, just do, okay? So that's what Coach Carrie says we're doing, we're doing it, let's do it. So, as you can see here, this is a good one for me. That's why she knew to put these in. As we lift, the key for us, lift everything. Once I plant, stabilize the core and push. Getting a little bit of lower back extension, back extension, back work. And then right into a push pattern. These things go hand in hand with one another. So getting into an exercise like this is imperative for those transitions, especially if I want to start getting into like dynamic stuff with kettlebells or landmines and I'm rotating and whatnot. I got to master both of those as they transition through one another. So an exercise like that, great idea. That's why she's the coach. Okay, so lifting up, press. Lifting up, press. I'm gonna do two more. Since I was jaw jacking too much here, of course. Press, good. Here's what we got going on over here. One person's working stability while the other person earns a row structure. We got two bands on there, so it's pretty intense. Nice and heavy. We're not just, you know, doing cardio or building muscle. Carrie's also getting a decent workout here as she squats and stabilizes her body. 10 to 12 is a good thing. I'm gonna keep moving, folks. We'll show you another one we can get into. I like these because I do a little bit of combat training good for transitions and agility so I'm gonna kick to the side maybe take a stutter step in between and the key when I'm kicking to the side I'm looking down my sight and I'm actually bending my torso to match where my hip position is that way I get the most from that set exercise the lady switched of course it wasn't just Cassandra rose for five minutes Oh yeah. Good stuff. Torian's gonna get a set in there too. He's definitely gonna get a set in there. I'm gonna see if I can put you guys on point here. Who's holding for me? Sandra's holding for me. Okay. Here we go. When squeezing here, we're gonna see if we can get the fans to see this. When squeezing here, I'm gonna try to almost pull my elbows to the center of my lower back. Before I start, of course, earning my shoulder blade position. Pulling in that structure there. I'm gonna lose you in the shot here. I'm gonna focus, but you get the idea. Oh yeah. And it's time for a crisscross walks. Woo, three more. One, Cassandra's holding on strong. Two, she's almost pulling me over. <laughs> Three, must be all the hard work she put in. Just oh, killing it. Okay, actually I'm gonna give Cassandra the light one. This might be new for her. Did we do these last week, the crisscross walk? No, I don't think so. Okay, so this one's huge, huge. Okay, key for us, shoulder blades are down and back. I want my feet to rotate out pelvis is in and I keep this consistency 90 90 here these are really difficult but they work everything so it's important to do these when I'm moving of course I'm not shifting the organization of my body here you don't need to go very far for these mm -hmm. slight bend in your knees want to use the bungee I'll use the bend all right See if I can show you guys what that looks like here. Then we'll get the ladies on camera, of course. We're not gun shy around here. We love the spotlight. Just kidding. Anyways, 
a little bit harder with this band that I got, but same idea. Don't want to be slamming down. I'm keeping everything organized. Slight step. It's like an inch or two moving to the side, keeping everything organized. We're going to feel it everywhere for this one. Hamstrings, obliques, glutes, shoulders, back, core, all in one, making fair distance as we move through this. Excellent. We don't go very far for these. You need maybe a couple meters because those are pretty intense. It's time under tension the whole damn time. Okay. I'm going to add this exercise. You guys can feel free to join if you'd like. Another crazy one. Maybe a little difficult for anybody with shoulder injuries, but uh, we're going to get into our tabletop position. And out of that said tabletop, these have been called scorpions in programs I've looked at before. From this said space, we're going to lift up and try to almost touch our feet, getting extension and a touch at the same time as best as we can. If you're like my friend Carrie here, she can probably do it much higher. And in fact, Cassandra's even doing it higher than me. So there you go. How about we watch them do it? <laughs> okay, so my water bottle is going to be the joist here or the stand. So hopefully this works. There we go. 12 to 16 is that magic number. I'm back in the shot there. Couldn't get enough of me, eh? Anyways. A lot of more core work, shoulder stability, hip mobility, all in one here. And we gotta hit the stairs again. Good stuff. Back on Z stairs after we get a crucial sip of juice here. That nutritional slop. Wonderful. All right. Just cleaning up a bit here. It's like we own the place or something, you know? Gotta get it all clean in here. Hey, okay. smiling. Smile and wave. For all of you that joined, thanks a lot. I'm probably gonna repost this bad boy at some point too, just in case you weren't able to join today at that time. It's probably gonna be our last set of stairs though, folks. It's getting wet. And that poses danger. You don't want to be slipping on the stairs. I've tried that before. A client of mine, me and him, came out here once trying to do stairs when it was raining. We had to shut it down. We were slipping all over the place. And actually, to keep it simple, I think this time around, folks, without a break, I'm going to run up these. I don't really do a lot of linear runs just on their own when I'm on the stairs I like to mix it up with variety and rotation but for today why not it's the whole point variety is key almost there almost there got some more friends from the gym here right now they're of course putting in the work I don't know about you guys, but uh, with the, it getting wet, I don't think any dynamic rotational stuff's a good idea, right? I was careful going down. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm not making anything crazy here. It's just because it's getting wet, folks. We gotta adapt. So we're just, I'm missing a step. Feel free to laugh at me after I get to the top and I'm dead, okay? Because that's, I'm gonna try to go without breaking, okay? Here we go. This is going to look weird, but here we go. <laughs> pushing it. We're pushing it. We're pushing it. No big deal. Without a break. Holy quad burner. 
staying game ready, folks. That's why. Oh, Christ. Here we go. Hey. We're more than half now. This keeps me in shape for the run with the farmers, too. My other homies that are in crazy shape running for a good cause. Whoa. No break, like I said. Let's go. Woo. No break needed until now. Holy smoke. Whole set. Whole set. If you're not stupid crazy like me, you can do it nice and gradual. That's fine too. Whew. You guys get to stare at the pavement while I hawk up along here. Whew. Give it a quick moment. Cover a little bit and we're getting back in there. You can see the look of pure joy on Carrie's face. You know, when you get moving, it's not all that bad out here. In fact, I find it maybe a little easier. It's not as hot. Teach his own, though. I, I like running when it's hot, too. All right. I think I'm going to go outside the box for this next one here. Um, for our combat fans and the fact that I've been approached by a few combat gear places that wanted to see some training on this. And uh, I'm going to practice a, almost like a hurdle movement slash teep, if you will. Um, so, setting up shop here. Carrie's going to show probably the running version, but uh, here, see if I can set it up. I'm standing here. The key for us is to land that said strike off the toe, extending through, and pushing. We want to stay in the same position. So touch, 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 touch. And you can see this becomes the activating force. We don't want to be all over the place. It's going to try to stay in the one position. I pull it up and I extend through. And I want to use that type of movement. I kind of extend through, get a lot of extension on that. Turn some ankle mobility. Stability. Lady's gonna try this. <laughs> I don't know what my face is. Doing. <laughs> I can see hers. <laughs> if that's too much, of course we can just work on extension and bringing it back in. Just working those hip flexors, learning how to get the proper bending through the hips, as opposed to always overextending the lower back and not adding that with dorsiflexors can cause injuries. So the ability to extend through, use the leverage of our feet in conjunction with a drive, gives us the ability to earn those upper echelon ankle dorsiflexion in the context of hip extension. Got to train these dynamics to master it in a faster rate. So moving at a slow tempo can help us with that. That looks awesome, Cassandra. When you go to drive, use your arms and push through with your arms. You're gonna get that foot to lift. There you go. Nice job. Nice job, ladies. Nice job. Carrie's also had some practice with this stuff before too. This is brand new to Cassandra, and look, she's killing it. Told you, folks. Army fatigues for a reason. She's she's got it on lock. After that. Our good old push-up with T-spine rotation, yes? Of course! I'm getting those looks again, like, wow, this program's awesome. So, one of these. Push-up. When I rotate, the key for me is to rotate with my core, as opposed to just swinging my arm. 
It's supposed to be a core exercise. Practicing and mastering that. Yeah. Rotation to the core. Well, that's a really good idea. <laughs> you guys doing it a little higher? So if that's too fierce, okay, there's always modifications. This is why I always recommend getting the expert advice from folks like Carrie here. So that's too aggressive, folks. We can bring up the angle here, and make it more accessible to our capabilities right now, which is fine. From this said space, same rules, just keeping your pelvis tucked in, shoulder blades are down and back. It's a little bit more accessible, more reasonable if this is new to you. And if the power isn't quite there yet. Okay, that's fine. We do quite there yet, quite there yet. Push-ups are a very difficult thing, right? A lot of moments or a lot of things and prerequisites that go into push-ups. So the key is to stay relative to your goals or relative to your capabilities rather than push it because you don't want to butcher the form. Move a little faster. Just moving again. But the rules remain the same. I'm not letting everything just kind of catch in. It's like I'm controlled. Pelvis, shoulder blades are in. Push. And I finish. Rotation comes through my core. The arm follows through like it's on a track. All right, I'm gonna go for some crisscrosses, four of these, and then we're gonna go a little bit faster tempo. Crazy jacks. Carrie's gonna do the side shuffle high knees. And then a pause and hold. Imperative for again, ballistic movement and stability. You wanna avoid injuries. Some type of training's gotta involve exercises like this. Okay. I'm gonna get back into these, so one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four. Let me just keep transitioning. I'm gonna get a little fancy, we can start to turn a bit. Can't always be linear training, folks. Gotta get that routine shot. Three, three, four. time we got? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Shall we go back to a bird dog exercise for core? We're gonna do one more set of stairs. One more set of stairs? Should we do both? They're going for stairs. I'm gonna do another set of stairs too. I'm gonna show this exercise again. Dynamic thing. Gals are going down. Out of this set position, again, we're going to extend out, rotate to the side, rotate back in. Again, the goal is not reorganize our body, staying relatively flat when we get out of that position. Let's try to show you from a side angle here. Extend through, rotate out, rotate back in. Again, not overreacting through that posture there, keeping everything organized. Eight to 10 is good. And we'll switch sides. Remember our goals here, keeping everything relatively organized. Ooh, sides way more tight. I'm gonna earn that through my footprint. Toe again is engaged. Pelvis is engaged in a neutral position, not overextended. So I'm earning that intentional tension here. Shoulder blades are in. So when I extend, still mastering that. Stop me from reorganizing or losing that. Alignment, Ooh, my left shoulder is a little tight. Lots of injuries, so moving as well, but do the best we can. Ooh. All right, last exercise to go here on these stairs. 
last time we sprinted up those stairs. This time, maybe a little more dynamic, a little bit of variety. It stopped raining as much. Oh, well, here on the side of caution. Thanks again for joining us today. Taking time out of your day to check in. Maybe see what it's all about. Maybe they're sparking some interest and in turn sparking some opportunities for you to take charge of your fitness, your health and wellness. We're here to help. A lot bit of a way better experience, obviously, when you're getting that personal training and or group training in a class where we sit down and organize it just for you. So think about it. If not, tune into these from time to time. As long as you're starting, that's all you really care about. As long as you're taking charge of your fitness. Almost there. Ladies even waited for me. I wanted to see if I was about it. Obstacles. Is that a I'm zoom in there? Is that a hot dog stand over there, or yeah. is it different today? Oh, it's different today. I don't think it's hot dogs. Yeah, it looks like Last time was delicious food truck ish or something. No more side tracking up the stairs. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the laterals here, the, the crisscross here. Still dynamic, but not too much, so I wipe out. And I'll switch halfway. I get my arm pumping here. So. And remember, folks, it doesn't always have to be fast tempo. You're only training those muscle memories or those muscle components if it's always fast so it doesn't hurt to go more slower paced more consistent both are necessary for proper training principles that's why we show both of them you want to work to your leverage point and your capabilities at the time you don't need to be a Super duper hero and put yourself at risk or injure. It's all about pacing and consistency. It is slippery though, not gonna lie. I'm being very careful and cautious with this movement. I want to do some hockey skaters, but I think that might be a little too risky, folks. We're gonna do some in and outs though. So, two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, two feet out. Two feet in, two feet out. Being careful, being cautious. Again, working that agility complex. We're committing to sports. It's always a read and react movement which involves different angles and postures so imperative we train those things key is we never quit keep moving Kudos to Sandra there. She hasn't stopped. She kept moving. That's what it's all about. I'm gonna finish with some swivel hips. Swivel hips, I get a bit of a rotation here when I step and I do it with some posture and power. My hips swivel. It's 
towards the centerpiece and drive. Awesome is right. Thanks for tuning in. Getting an awesome workout. Hello, puppy. Hello. So rather than reinvent the wheel, I'm going to get a second set of some of those upper body exercises. Those arm curls, shoulders. I had a second set of those. How's it going? Good, yourself? Excellent. It's cool down time, so if you're not stupid like me. <laughs> Definitely cool down after your workouts. I shall take a few moments after the live to do such. But in the meantime, I'm gonna finish my front and side raises. Second set never hurts. But we're definitely at the end of our program, so of course, proper ending sequence. You're looking at it with Kerry, Coach Kerry. Gotta down regulate those muscles. Can't stay high tempo and keep all that intensity into them. Let them recover properly. This is the starting process. Thanks to coach. Getting some of that at the end of those workouts. Usually we run out of time, so good that she's making time for it. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. I'm gonna hit those arm curls too. For the arms. Double stacking it. Double stacking it. So if all goes well, we'll be back here Saturday. That one won't be live though. The weather's good. Show up Saturday around 1231. We'll be here putting together another workout. Just trying to get more people involved. Get health conscious again. Challenges in our life are going nowhere. It's how we adapt. It's how we deal with those said stressors. Let's do it in a healthy way. That's what we're here for. You notice Coach here fixing up the hips here as they were put through the paces in a standing profile, of course, because it is wet as shit. And we're already standing. Okay, getting that external glute opening sequence. Sandra is opening up her quads and hips at the same time while showing off her balance. I tell you, man, these girls. You see where I get my training from? Okay. Trainers need trainers too. Oof. Holy biceps, Batman. I feel like they're going to pop out of my arms here. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. All right. Well, that pretty much does it for our live today. So thanks for tuning in again. As with every Wednesday, barring a crazy setback, we'll be here 12 o'clock. Mind you, I think if it's gross next time like this, we may be... Uh, sticking to indoors and you're still welcome to come this may be a little crowded so thanks for tuning in guys till next time and again saturday 12 30 one o'clock we'll be here these are the norris stairs we shall talk soon bye for now <laughs> <laughs>